Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News. I'm Connor, and this is my co-host, Amy. Thanks for joining us today. A couple of our very own classmates won a very important award last week. It's called the Whataburger Winner Circle Award and is only given to two students each year. Let's find out who won. And there she is, Stephanie Luna, our Whataburger Winner Circle Female Student of the Year. Congratulations, Stephanie. And you get an awesome prize package. I know there's uh, basketball tickets that you get to go to, which this year, basketball's a big thing at Tech, so that's pretty cool. Congratulations. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, and yeah. Javon Deshaun, Whataburger Winner Circle, Male Student of the Year. Congratulations, Javon. There's your prize package. And I need you to stick around because we're going to get you interviewed here. Hi, I'm Kyra here with Mr. Jarabek. And tell us about the Whataburger Students of the Year. How were they chosen? Uh, we ask our eighth grade teacher team to get together and select a boy and a girl that represent things like character, um, good effort, great attitude, um, leadership. Uh, those were the kind of characteristics. So it's kind of just a great all around kid is what this award is about. How many students are chosen throughout the area? Wow, uh, it probably is a lot. I know that they um, send invites to us every year and I assume it's probably every like South Plains area school um, gets an opportunity to do this. So I bet it's a lot of kids. I don't know exactly how many, but it might be hundreds. What do they receive for their efforts? I know most years they get, um, they, they always get tickets to an athletic event. This year it's a basketball game, which at Tech is a good thing this year. It hasn't always been that way, but uh, they get free tickets for their whole family to go to a basketball game. And I think they get some like, free food from Whataburger. They get usually, I believe, a t-shirt um, to all wear to the game um, and some uh, just kind of a prize package like that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Katie here with Javon. What's the best thing about being chosen Whataburger Student of the Year? Uh, it just feels great to be chosen by my eighth grade teachers out of the whole entire school. They could have uh, chosen anybody else, but they picked me, and so it's a good honor. Thank you. Hi, I'm Addie here with Stephanie. What's the best thing about being chosen for Waterburger Student of the Year? Being nominated by my teachers. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah, see the red thing. Hi guys. Whoop, whoop. For ages. Behind the scenes. Stop. You don't have to. Look, the camera's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Uh, um, I think you go just X. Oh, it's still video. <laughs> We see you soon. Congratulations on the award. We'll be back right after for a word from our sponsors. They're at our school. New books you'll want to read and own are at our Scholastic Book Fair. You'll find more new books, the best and most popular books, and the most amazing stories. You'll find many new choices at your Scholastic Book Fair. It's here. The book fair is finally here. It, there's all kinds of toys and books to buy. Today the teachers will start to send kids down. Make sure to go check it out. Members of our FMS band have a competition today. It's their UIL challenge at the high school. Members of the gold band will go tomorrow. The last two prep cheer practices are today and tomorrow. They're from 4 to 5.30 here in the cheer room. The tryouts are on Friday over at Heritage. Good luck to everyone that's trying out. Next week is spring break. We'll get the whole week off to travel or stay at home and relax. We know everyone is looking forward to it. Now let's check in with Matthew and see what's going on in the weather. Hello FMS weather fans, Here I'm Matthew here with the current conditions. Part of the cloudy 51 degrees, winds northeast 16 miles per hour, precipitation zero. Here's a look at tonight's regional forecast, we have no rain in our area. Here's a look at our five-day forecast. Temperatures warming up the next few days with no rain expected. I'm Matthew here with your weather. Back to you. Thanks, Matthew. Now let's check in with sports. The next meet will be March 22nd, starting at 5 p.m. Girls will be here at FMS on our own turf, and the boys will be at Estacado. Turning to tennis news, the A-team played Cooper Monday. Here are the results. Hi, I'm Kenya with Ansley. Who did you play this week? Cooper. Uh, how did how did you do? Um, I won my singles and doubles. What's next for the tennis team? We play Heritage. What's the best thing about playing tennis at FMS? Um, winning. 
Why should everyone learn the game of tennis? Um, because it's fun. Thank you. The kids on our A and B tennis team will get their chance to humiliate Heritage when we get back from spring break. The A team plays on the 19th. The B team plays on the 20th. All matches are at the high school and should start at 4. Good luck to all the members of our fabulous Tiger tennis teams. That's, That's all, all we, we have for sports. sports. Back, back to you. you. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Until again, Tigers. Bye. Bye.